So when you look at the really unique, bizarre things humans have come up with, ranging from cave paintings to Snapchats and everything in between, probably the most unique and universal thing we've come up with is this religion business. When you talk about symbolic, metaphorical thinking, um, essentially there has been no culture on earth that has not invented some form of what could be termed metamagical thinking, attributing things that cannot be seen, faith-based belief systems, things of that sort. It's universal. Uh, 90, 95% of people believe in some sort of omnipotent something or other out there. Every culture out there has it. People have endlessly speculated about the evolution of religiosity. And at least in terms of westernized religions, um, it makes perfect sense why they've evolved because they're wonderful mechanisms for reducing stress. It is an awful, terrifying world out there where bad things happen and we're all gonna die eventually. and believing that there is something, someone responsible for it, at least gives some stress-reducing attributes built around understanding causality. If on top of that, you believe there is not only something out there responsible for all of this, but that there is a larger purpose to it, that's another level of stress-reducing explanation. If then on top of it, you believe that individual out there is benevolent, even more so, control and predictability. Benevolent and listens to human entreaties, more elements of control. Benevolent listens to human entreaties and prefers to listen to people like you, who look like you, pray like you, request like you, even more so there. Just all these levels of control, predictability, they're stress reducing. And what is infuriating to me as an utter, complete atheist is a very, very solid literature showing the health benefits of religiosity. Independent of, you tend to get a social supportive community when you're religious, you have fewer lifestyle risk factors, the mere ability to perceive causality, reason, benevolence, benevolence especially for people like me, if I say the right, co right combination of words and fervently believe in it, that's wonderfully protective and there's health benefits to it. If it is a totally heartless, indifferent, apathetic universe out there, you are far more at risk for all the logical things, which is to conclude it is an utterly depressing universe out there. Rates of depression are much higher among atheists, go figure. So in terms of that, it makes perfect sense why this is something that people have come up with. And rather than asking why is it that 95% of humans come up with some form of religiosity, much more biologically interesting question to me is what's up with the 5% of atheists who don't do that? Mm -hmm.